Questions for Vlatko. We're going to go to Meg Linehan first. Go ahead, Meg. All right, Vlatko, I'm sure you're going to get plenty of questions about Carly, but I did want to start us off with uh, Mel Hughes' three assist performance and, and what you thought you saw from her tonight. Uh, I mean, first uh, uh, she had three assists, which is which is very good. But I also thought she uh, she impacted the game uh, uh, throughout the whole game with uh, with her runs, her positioning, and uh, ability to eliminate players. So very happy with uh, with her performance. And uh, this is uh, just uh, one of those games to to get her back in, to get her uh, to get her in the rhythm with the team, to refresh the. The, the principles and uh, hopefully it's just the beginning of uh, of uh, getting her back to uh, back to her best. Thanks, Lotto. Thank you. Let's go to Doug McIntyre. Go ahead, Doug. Thanks. That was my fault, Doug. No, no, no problem. Yeah. Can you guys hear me now? Yep, go yeah. ahead. Yeah, great. Uh, yeah, Meg, Meg's right, uh, Vlatko. I am going to ask about Carly. Um, you know, what did you make of that performance? And, and when you're watching her have that, that kind of night, is there any part of you that wants to, to talk her out of retiring? Thank you. So first, what did I think about the performance? I'm obviously not happy with it. Just kidding. Uh, she, uh, I think she, I mean, it's amazing. Five goals. Uh, uh, she's an uh, absolute uh, legend. Uh, just uh, being on the field, uh, she's a threat uh, no matter who we play, when we play, where, where we play. And uh, her mentality is uh, something that it's unseen. Uh, she's just hungry for scoring goals, just uh, uh, hungry to get better. And whether we play, uh, whether we play for a medal or we play Paraguay, uh, it makes no difference. She she wants to score goals, and that's what uh, that's what makes her the best. Uh, now, uh, I've talked to her. Uh, I talked to her about uh, where she's uh, where she stands and how she feels. And I'm pretty sure if Carly decides to play uh, for two more years, she could easily do that. Uh, but uh, if uh, she decides to re uh, to retire. We, we all want to wish her the best, and we want to thank her for everything that she's done for, uh, for the national team, for, uh, for women's soccer and soccer in general. Thanks, Doug. Let's go to Jonathan Tannerwald. Go ahead, Jonathan. Thanks, Aaron. Patrick, congratulations. Um, thank you. I want to ask about Andy Sullivan and, and Peggy Ray and her tonight, and what the opportunity that she has in front of her, not just in the next couple of months, but over the next year and a half to really stamp her authority on things with this team, which is something that a lot of us, I'm sure, including you, have been waiting to see, but haven't been able to because of the injury. Yes. Uh, I mean, uh, Andy is pretty much in the in the same boat uh, with Mel. Uh, basically, injuries uh, sidelined uh, side her uh, on a couple of occasions, and uh, she could never really uh, get into a good rhythm. Uh, we saw that in the in the last uh, three months or so, uh, she's in in very good rhythm. She's uh, playing well, and uh, when we see something like that, at first we're excited to see it, and second we want to support it and give her the opportunity to uh, maintain maintain and uh, all, maintain the rhythm, but all and form, but also help her evolve and develop uh, and uh, get even better. That's it for me. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, JT. Uh, looks like we just got one more for Vlaco, unless other people raise their hand, and that will go to Kristen Mazor. Go ahead, Kristen. Yeah, Coach, getting back to uh, you know, talking about Mal, obviously having a good game here. Uh, you know, throughout the week, talking about uh, several of the players being called up, including her, and then also looking at Carly having a spectacular game but heading for retirement. Um, what are your thoughts on? some of these younger players, uh, are you satisfied with it and, and looking for the future of the program? I'm very satisfied with them. Uh, first, I'm satisfied with how they uh, how they play uh, in the league before they were called up, but also satisfied with uh, their performance uh, in the game tonight and uh, very excited for them because uh, uh, 
I think that uh, they have a bright future. They have so much potential. We want to uh, we want to nurture that. We want to uh, help them uh, reach their potential. And uh, I think that this is actually time for us to be patient and uh, help them uh, help them uh, be their best uh, in this environment. Thank you, Kristen. Let's go to Simon Borg. Go ahead, Simon. Uh, hi, Vladko. Wanted to ask you about uh, the opponent, uh, Paraguay, obviously number 50 in the world, and uh, you guys really took it to them. What, an opponent like this, what do you get out of a match when the team you're playing is so overwhelmed and overpowered? And do you try, in this, in this window, did you try to find another opponent that could maybe give you more of a test and maybe were unsuccessful? Yes, uh, I mean, first, uh, getting an opponent uh, to play or and come and play in the in the states now it's extremely hard, uh, and we're thankful uh, that uh, we were able to get uh, two games uh, in this window. Uh, in terms of the game, uh, we didn't uh, really talk much about the opponent. Uh, our main focus was uh, on us, uh, what uh, we do, and implementing first refreshing some of the principles, but, but also implementing or tweaking. Uh, uh, some uh, some other principles, and uh, the last thing is uh, was uh, our uh, last thing that we wanted to get out of this game is get minutes to some of these players that I was talking uh, about earlier: uh, Mel Pugh, Soft, uh, Soft Smith, uh, uh, Andy Sullivan, and then uh, Tierna Davids. I mean, uh, we want uh, these uh, younger players to 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 get as many minutes as possible. I want to I want to add uh, Kat McCarter in the group as well. Thanks, Michael. Thank you. Thanks, Simon. Looks like we do have one more that goes to Alex Ozzy. Go ahead, Alex. Hey, Vlatko. I wanted to actually follow up on that last question. You mentioned that it's hard to get teams to the United States right now. Can you just detail kind of the reasoning behind that? Is it is it from the teams or is it the bureaucracy related to COVID? I mean, there's this thing now that's been going around for a year and a half. Uh, pandemic it's called covid so that's that's the main reason uh, just uh, the, some uh, uh, some teams or some countries have more restrictions when they when the when the, their teams come here and uh, they go back uh, they they have to quarantine some uh, some teams have hard times uh, getting here some some teams are uh, afraid to get here i mean they but uh, uh, mainly it is uh, related to covid